Hi everybody, Vicki here, and I'm pretty happy to be here with you today on my beautiful deck outside in the fresh open air, which I'm so grateful and thankful for. But it sounds a little noisy today. It's a Saturday and it's the morning. So it's after nine o'clock and people are up and out and doing their thing. So you're going to hear the garbage men coming to pick up uh, the garbage today on our block and local. And also you'll, you might hear some airplanes overhead. But I'm hoping that having my uh, earbuds in and my microphone is going to prevent any kind of distraction from happening. So anyway, without further ado, I'd like to get started today with what I want to share with you. So a little bit about one of the steps in visualization uh, for manifestation. Um, I wanted to share six steps for manifesting your dream life. Uh, I call it manifestation magic. And today I wanted to delve into one of the steps a little bit deeper. Um, it's on visualization. And it's something that's really helped me create the world that I'm living in and, and how I'm able to be happy every day. It's not just gratitude that keeps me going and makes me thankful for what I have. Uh, watching a bird just fly by as I record this for you outside in the beautiful um, scenery that I have behind me. Very fortunate, but I am also very fortunate to be able to visualize my reality. Now, when I was inside uh, thinking about how I was going to record this today, I was not sure that I was going to do it inside or I was going to do it outside. I had done my workout today, as you can see, I'm still in my attire. Uh, but I wanted to sit down and record this for you while it's fresh in my head. That's just how I work. I have ideas in my head and I need to get them out. So I hope you bear with me if you hear a little bit of noise. I tried to do what I can to, to correct it with this microphone. Um, so with visual, visual, <laughs> visualizing, uh, it, it's very important to do that before you even set your intention. You have to visualize yourself accomplishing some sort of goal and that's on the small so on the larger picture you have to think of what your end goal ultimately is whether that's um, losing weight or whether it's creating a new career for yourself or even just changing your jobs um, finding romance whatever it is you need to visualize it because if it's not in your mind it's going to be a little difficult for the universe to know what it is that you want and I truly believe that we are here for a reason. We're here to be thankful for what we have. We're here to share with other people so that they can have happiness too. I don't believe that we were put here on this earth to be miserable cre uh, creatures that just don't serve any purpose. So if you want to be thankful and you want to have a vision, you really need to visualize. So I hope that makes sense. I was just trying to get it out of my head this morning at the gym. And I've been thinking about this more and more, how I want to present this to you and with others um, on a journey to manifesting your dream life. Because I'm very thankful for where I am, considering I have MS. And I would be in a very different place if I didn't have the motivation and commitment that I do to living my life um, and wanting to be active and share with people every day. So I'm on YouTube now. I've also got on TikTok and I built up my Instagram and now I'm trying to get into the space where I can do more live. Okay. So whether that's online, I have an online course. Um, I have something at the local library. It's going to happen, but I have to visualize it. So I'm going to share with you a couple of ways that help me to visualize. Okay. One of them is guided imagery. Now this works for me very well with that Insight Timer app that I'm always talking about. Um, it has really changed my life. Now it, there's guided imagery with people who will guide you on kind of like a trip. You, you'll take a little trip with them. You'll close your eyes. You'll, env you'll envision yourself on a beach. Uh, maybe it's in a, a local park on a bench with beautiful foliage around you, um, any, any place that you want to be. But you have to quiet your mind and set that intention that you're going to go on a trip with somebody that's guiding you along the way. Now, sometimes it's not enough to just sit down and have that quiet space. 
to, to think, sometimes it's helpful to have guided imagery with someone guiding you. So that's one type of visualization that you can do. You can have somebody guide you that's already, you know, created something for you to take the trip on. So if it's envisioning yourself on the beach and you decided that you want a beach home, then I definitely would look for a visualization for something on the beach. Someone's guiding you on the journey to the beach, you're walking in the sand, whatever it is. Even if you cannot make that happen, there's somebody else who created some kind of a video on that. Okay, so that's one way to do it, is to use guided imagery. Now, one thing that I want very much is in my future to have a deck. Somehow I envision a deck uh, on in my future property. Maybe it's this property here because I am on a deck, but I want things to happen on this deck. And they already have, and they're going to continue to happen um, in terms of, of workshops and, and sharing with people how to have a better life and just believe in themselves. And no matter what the challenge, you can always be the best version of you. Um, I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but I really didn't want to miss this opportunity to share this fresh idea in my mind with you today. So as guided imagery is definitely one way to do visualization. Okay. It helps to have a quiet place, whether or not that is a car, your seat belted in, you didn't take off yet, you didn't go to your destination, or you finished a workout. A lot of times that's what I do. I'll just head to the car, turn it off. Uh, before I, I even turn it on, I mean, I will just sit there and gather all that just happened uh, at that gym got my great workout on, I might have done some cardio, got my blood pumping. Now it's time to calm down. And I get those thoughts in my head and I need to get them out. So that quiet place for me right there in that moment is that car, that vehicle. Nobody else is with me. Don't even have an air conditioner or heater on yet to control my temperature around me. But it's, it's a place that I have that's quiet and it works for me. Sometimes I will drive to a location that's under a beautiful tree or maybe a playground or maybe a, a school parking lot that's not being used on a weekend, whatever it is. You, know, you can find that place and you're in your own little bubble, right? Your own, own world. And that can be your location, uh, that your quiet location to practice your visualization. So aside from uh, getting a quiet place and having guided imagery, I have something that's valuable, very valuable for me. And I'm going to share something on this separate and apart from this video, but I definitely wanted to include it in this recording. Okay. A vision board has really helped me see not only what's possible, but I can also collect in my mind all the things that I've done so far on this vision board. Now, some people might create a vision board have it in a closet. They put it away because they didn't think things would happen. But sure enough, they did. Um, and it's, you know, a valuable way for you to at least track your progress and put out there in the universe the things that you want to happen. Okay, that's how you attract things. You can, you can just attract things to come to you if you visualize them. I truly believe that. Okay, so a vision board has visions of, of it has visuals of what you want to accomplish in life. It can be things that you want, things that are external. It can be things that are from your own body. Like I want to walk with one crutch again. So I have in the middle of my vision board, me walking with one crutch with my son. I didn't walk too far, but I at least had out there in the universe that I wanted to attain that goal. So that goal is going to come to me. I feel it. And I've put pictures of people that I want to meet in my future, people that support me, people that really inspire me. Um, one of those is, is Corey Everson, uh, my uh, idol since I'm young. Uh, she's a, a bodybuilder, seven-time Miss Olympia, and I just recently got to reach out to her. She now knows who I am. So, you know, if you want something to really come to you, you have to put that out there visually. So it implants itself in your mind and you know that you need to be working towards these things. Things don't just come to you. 
you have to put in some amount of work to make those things happen. That's why it's very important to set your goals and know that you can attain them. You know, when, when you have that vision board and you see things being checked off and you just put it in your mind that those are the things that you need to work towards, if you haven't gotten it yet, why is that? Did you not work hard enough towards it or is it just not for you in the, in the, in the now? It's something that's going to come down the road and you have to just trust, surrender, and just know that it's going to happen. There's other steps in the manifestation process, but I'm not talking about those today. And before I burn, I want to wrap up on this uh, last piece. When you visualize, you have to uh, put your emotions in it. Because without those emotions, it's very hard to be attracted to something. I'll give you a perfect example. If it's money that you want, right? You want a lot of money. What does that mean? You know, is it bills for you? Is it is it paper? Is it Bitcoin? Is it credit cards? Is it your debit card, your bank account? Because I'll tell you this, I rarely see cash nowadays. I do a lot of my stuff with my phone. There's Apple Pay, there's Venmo. There's a lot of ways to, you know, to spend that currency. And it doesn't have to come in paper form anymore. So unless that money for you means something in terms of paper printed currency. You can go to Washington DC and certainly take a tour of the treasury. No, not the treasury, but of the mint and how they print money. It's wonderful, but I don't know if you'll have a, a big connection to it if, if that money doesn't mean anything to you because you don't see it. So the emotion of having that money right, and being connected to being able to have what you want when you want because you have the abundance of that money coming in your life, then that's really important. Okay, and you just need to attach that emotion to it and make sure that you know that you really feel powerful. How else do you feel it? You know, when you, when you have that emotion connected with money, you never have to worry. You don't have to worry about not having things that you want. There's a lack of that scarcity, and that's a powerful emotion. Okay, I, when I was uh, growing up, we didn't have a lot of money when I was younger. We were on welfare in an early part of my life. And I can't say that I remember what it was like being that way. My mom probably could, she could share with you. But if you have a time in your life when you just had nothing, you lost something, you had it all, and then you just lost it, remember what that feeling was when you knew that it was taken from you, okay? And you never want to live like that again. So that's a powerful emotion and that's going to make you feel like you never want to go there. So you're really supercharged in getting all of that money and those possessions for yourself again. Do you see what I mean? So if you attach that emotion to it, it's going to have more value. Don't just think I want all the money in the world and leave it at that. So it's attaching emotion. Okay. So those three things that I shared with you today, they're pretty powerful. And if I glanced over them because I was talking about the sun and going to get burned and planes and all that stuff. I apologize, but you know, this is live. I'm recording this live for you. I'm not really editing this. I'm not going by a script. I don't, I don't feel that's, that's right for me. It just doesn't work. Uh, so it, I, I'm talking to you from the heart. Okay. So if you need help, just do guided imagery and just envision yourself where you want to be with someone's help. Okay. There are, uh, there are videos, you can, if you want to live a certain place, you can find a video on YouTube just about anywhere in the world. Somebody made a video because they want to collect advertising from YouTube, ultimately Google. Okay. So if you need help, there's help out there for you. There's no excuses. And you also can make a vision board for yourself and surround yourself with those visions of what you want. It doesn't have to be a picture. It could be a color. You can put green everywhere. You know, but you have to vi envision that that money is going to come to you because your brain subconsciously is always thinking about it. So you, in turn, will make the effort to make that happen. Okay. So you have that and you also really just should just believe in yourself. You know, it's, it's, it's good to know that the universe is, is looking out for you and you're not in this alone. And, um, I think that visualization is really a very crucial part of the process to manifesting your life. Okay. 
And I hope that you learned something from this. If you have any questions, please post a comment for me below or just uh, stop by my website at chronicallyempoweredmom.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.